what's going on guys welcome back to the channel hopefully you guys are having an awesome day getting ready for the weekend so again i really appreciate the support on the channel we passed 3,000 subscribers and uh, trying to get this giveaway going there's some links or some information in the description if you guys are interested in a t-shirts but uh, if you guys are new here and you guys like seeing some of the snakes maybe you'll subscribe like the video help the algorithm out just a little bit and hanging out with Mountain Dew right now. I haven't really spent too much time with her in the last couple of days, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Just been super busy with work and uh, cleaning because I got something to uh, tell you guys and I want your guys' advice and some help. You guys do give out some good help uh, for my animals and I do appreciate that. So um, we're just gonna take a look around on some of the snakes and I'm having an issue on a a ball python and we'll get into that so some of you guys saw pictures of the anaconda the green anaconda on instagram and liked the patterns on the belly i don't think too many people really show off the belly patterns on them but they are pretty unique they're kind of crazy looking it's yellow and black which is a little bit different than top the tops of their bodies um there's really not much i guess it could be a lighter green, but it's more yellow they have the yellow circles and then it drops down into the yellowy the body, I guess you could say, or the underbelly. But so far, this girl is amazing. Um, you know, you just have to work with your animals. If, if you have snakes that, you know, you don't want to be nippy or a little bitey as adults, you got to work with them as babies. And I'm still working with the VPI Aztec right now and we're getting better. So that's definitely a plus on that. So let's talk about what's going on. We can look at some snakes. We'll put her back. Um, probably, there we go. So we'll just go under there. I got to put her hide back in there. I've been cleaning a lot. Um, since almost a lot, a lot of these things are on different feeding schedules. So they're just going to the bathroom like every day throughout the week. And I just have to come in. And anacondas do go to the bathroom way more, it seems, than the other snakes. So it's constantly cleaning out their water dishes. But... Let's check out some of the snakes. I know you guys love the boas. So let's just check out a beautiful boa really fast and then get into the, uh, the ball python. So this is a VPI jungle female and this girl is gorgeous. Um, probably one of the best VPI jungles that I have seen in quite some time. Um, very lucky to have her, very pleased to have her and they just get better uh, with age. So again, gotta clean her cage out a little bit. We'll check out the IMG because this girl's looking extremely good lately. Super dark, getting darker. Um, all right, so let's look at this dude because he just shed. His colors are looking phenomenal. I'd like to show him off to you guys. It's a leopard, orange dream, and she pied, and I'd say medium to, yeah, I'd say medium white. I don't, I don't think that's low white. I know Entry gives out a low white, uh, the low white pattern, but looks really, really good. Excited for him for next year. So stay tuned on that. So last week, so I tell you guys to get in the bad with the animals. Hopefully you guys appreciate that. I try not to hide, you know, my downfalls <laughs> as a snake owner. You guys know I've had some deaths and some bad experiences uh, in the past so this lady right here is an orange ghost and i do believe the orange ghost is the same as a hypo i could be wrong but that's just what i've kind of seen uh, and it's also super entry so it's the super form of the entry but this girl looks phenomenal i don't i know i don't show her off too much really cool colors patterns markers on her but anyways so on her belly Two weeks ago, I noticed that there was a couple of scales, like right in here, that were brown and kind of like super dry. Now, when she shed, it went away. So I thought, okay, no problem. They're not burns, it could be scale rot. You guys know I'm having issues with the humidity, so I have been soaking the bedding down a lot more 
to boost the humidity up in the uh, in the enclosures. I did get a uh, a little thing to help with the a humidifier. Just remember that word, humidifier. It is small. The box set is good up to 400 square feet, so it should be able to maintain the room. We'll see how that works out. I don't have too much faith in a 30. <laughs> it's the only one I could find at Lowe's for 30 bucks. Um, and who else am I looking at right now? So this girl right here. So she's on paper. You guys are probably, you guys probably know why. So I do need to give her water. I've disinfected her, uh, her cage. And I think she has scale rot. So, but I don't, I, I thought scale rot. So I really haven't looked into it, but I didn't think scale rot would come and then leave so quickly on just one shed, but maybe it does. So this girl is a fire and she clown. And I just noticed like two spots on her. So I'm gonna try to find this. Okay, so this is super difficult with one hand. I'm gonna try to set this camera up. And then we'll try to find it and then show you guys if, so there we go, right there. These two spots right here. And that's the only spot that that's on her, but you can feel that it's really hard and it's obviously not supposed to be there. So these two little scales and it could be scale wrap. As you see her, her, belly, her belly is not bad. So it has me concerned. So the other snake, it went away with one shed. Hopefully it goes away with her with one shed. I did a little bit of research on scale rot and everybody knows that the internet uh, has information about, you know, good, bad, take it for how you want. But basically I soaked her in Dawn uh, dish soap with warmish water, fully cleaned out her cage to disinfect it and to disinfect her. Uh, because I guess it could lead to issues and if, if it gets way worse, I was reading that it could get into the bloodline and then they could have issues and definitely do not want that. So, um, have her on paper, super clean environment. And I'm just going to monitor her. She is young, a couple months old, so she's eating very well. So she should be shedding out here soon. And then once she sheds out, I'm really hoping that that goes away. I mean, it happened with her. I noticed it and I didn't really think too much of it. At first I thought it was just, cause she does, cause you guys know, I do have the shedding issues. I just thought it was older shed that was kind of dried on her. She shed it and went away. So I don't know, help me out. <laughs> So a lot of these, so now I'm really paranoid. I haven't noticed any of it on the boas. I just bought this Repti chip like not even a month ago, so it's not that old. I don't have any issues on the Aspen. So I'm trying, so I'm thinking about switching all of my ball pythons over to um, paper. I don't know. Maybe I'm just freaking out over nothing, but just trying to be super cautious about that. So Pastel Pied, female, 2021. She just shed out, looking really good. Um, really nice colors on her, really cool pattern right there. And I would say low white, low white-ish. So the banana pied, this lady's looking really good. Eating like a champ and she's starting to get her black uh, speckling in. Um, I, know, I know, I think if you add Enchi, it takes the black dots out. And then the super bananas don't have any of the speckling either. So some people like the speckling, some people don't. I like it. I just get, I, I think it gives it more of a unique look personally. And then the black pastel, I the younger one. She shit out crazy high white. Just the top of her head is, has some color and then she doesn't have any issues and she's on the repti chip as well and this is even wetter than what that girl was on and you would definitely tell on her if she had any type of a scale issue because of how white she is so i'm thinking of even dumping her stuff out and it's just a waste of repti chip but if it saves an animal's life 
then $20 can go down the drain from Recky Chip. And this dude right here, a lot of you guys like to see him. So it's a yellow belly leopard clown, and this dude is being super <laughs> shy and nervous right now. Really cool looking eyes. And then on the belly, which he probably is not going to show. And you can kind of see markings, I guess, from the yellow belly. But there he goes, coming out a little bit. There we go. A little bit. Kind of a cool looking belly. Kind of unique. Got to clean his cage out. Like always, it's always something. But berm is good. Growing very nicely. And Pop-Tart's doing well. So I have the hot side at, um, it's at 85. This side's like low 80s. And she's back there behind her water. She really is not going over to the hot side. She really likes the cold side. So... Maybe I'm going to drop the temps a little bit and see what happens, but everybody else is doing pretty well. Um, again, I really appreciate the support. Hopefully you guys can give me some positive answers on what's going on with that clown, because it does have me a little bit concerned. If it is, um, if it is scale rot, then hopefully it just goes away on the last, on the next shed. I know I keep on saying that, but it's just really weird that scale rot um, I mean, the internet says it's this horrible thing, and then on the other snake, it just went away after a shed. So, it can't be that bad, right? If it just goes away on its own? I don't know. But it's not a burn. I know it's not a burn because all the other snakes would be burned because it, they all have the exact same... It's on heat panels, so they're all on the same. And I've seen pictures of burns, and it's it's gnarly looking, and, and just one or two scales. I, I don't think that they're burns. But we'll wrap this up. Hopefully you guys enjoy your evening, and uh, the next video is going to be a feeding video on all of the smaller uh, boas and stuff like that. So, see you guys on the next video.